Okay, right now I'm out here. I'm in my garage. Just kidding. I'm out here. I'm in Thailand uh, in my apartment and Okay, basically in this video, I wanted to explain exactly how I got from working a nine to five job uh, Actually, it was a lot more than a nine to five job It was at least ten hours a day and I went from this this job that I hated to starting my own business and living full-time uh, off my own business off my YouTube income and yeah, I'm not gonna lie, it was about a year and a half ago where I was working a full-time job that I hated. I felt unfulfilled in the work that I did. I felt trapped in a way, but right now I feel very lucky because, and I feel very grateful because I'm in Thailand. I work for myself in a business that, that I actually feel passionate about. And I'm so lucky to have completely flipped things around. So basically in this video, I wanna explain exactly how I did it. So I'm not sure if any of you guys have read that book, The 4-Hour Workweek by Tim Ferriss. Uh, it's like one of the most popular entrepreneur business books of all time. And I'm not going to lie, I actually haven't read the book myself. But what I did do was watch the summary on YouTube. So I've got the general gist of the book. And, you know, correct me if I'm wrong, but the main premise of the book is essentially working online, earning a strong currency like the US dollar or the pound, and having our expenses in a cheap currency, for example, the Thai baht. Okay, and guys, that is exactly what I'm doing at the moment. I earn money currently online through YouTube. Don't worry, I'll talk about that more soon. And then my, my expenses are pretty damn cheap in Thailand. Uh, the Thai baht, it's a weak currency, and you know one US dollar can take you a lot further compared to living uh, in the United States. Let's just say that. Okay, so what's the situation with me? Hmm, let me take you down memory lane. Okay, out of high school, the young Cooper, what did he do? He went straight to uni, because that's what you get taught. If you want to be successful, you go to uni, you get him $40,000 of debt, and then you work a nine to five for the rest of your life, uh, working your way up that corporate ladder. That's how you become successful, isn't it? Um, so that's exactly what I pretty much did for the start of my life. I went to uni the University of Victoria in Wellington. I got in a bunch of debt and I got a degree in accounting and finance. Okay, I chose accounting and finance because I, I've always loved business. Ever since I was young, I've always loved business. I've always loved money. It does sound a little bit wrong, but that's the truth. Since I was a kid, I loved money. Uh, and society, it teaches you the best way to learn uh, about business and making money is by going to university and learning from someone who has never started their own business. But uh, yeah, sure, they know the technicalities of one. They know the lingo, they know the curriculum back to front. Okay, but let's be honest, it's unlikely you're going to find a lecturer with real world business experience. Anyway, so I did this, I went to university, uh, I got B+, plus, A- minus grades, and I got my degree. I got that all important certificate that will ensure you are successful in life. Uh, only, it only cost me $40,000. Uh, and, and if I'm honest, it's probably the, the best marketing uh, plow to make money that I've ever seen. It's so smart by these universities to teach kids from a young age uh, that you need to go to university to be successful. So, you know, certificate in the hand, it's time to complete the next step. It is time to get a nine to five job. And you're damn right, I was so excited to get one of these. Just kidding. So I got a job uh, pretty quickly off the bat. And this job, it was kind of like a nine to five. Um, it was actually, I was actually a financial advisor. So basically with this job, you had to attract your own clients. Uh, and so in essence, you had to work more than the general eight hours a day if you actually wanted to make money. And if I'm honest, guys, I, I hated this job. Um, I would go to work uh, feeling stressed, having to cold call people, blah, 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 um, all of that junk. Honestly, I hated it. So long story short, I quit that job pretty quickly and went into reassessment time, reassessment mode. And essentially, I had two options from there. Uh, I could either work a nine to five at a bank or accounting firm, or I could start my own business. I didn't know what business, but yeah, that was my other option. 
So, when you don't know what to do uh, with your life, what place do you go to other than good old YouTube? And that's, that's exactly what I did. I started watching videos about business, about investing, about finance, and about YouTube. And whose channel did I stumble across? Uh, have a guess. Um, it was financial education. And I'll say this right here, right now, financial education and Ryan Scribner uh, empowered me into starting my own YouTube channel. Uh, it was literally watching one of Jeremy's videos where he went over, what well, I can't exactly remember what he did. He talked about ways to make money online or something similar to that. And that was when I realized you could actually make really good money online. So yeah, I'll say this right now. Thank you, Jeremy, and thank you, Ryan Scribner, for leading the way and showing me how it's done, making money online, and specific, making money on YouTube. Okay, so I made the decision that I was gonna start my own business instead of working the nine to five. And for those that don't know, my, my personality it just does not suit that nine to five job. Um, waking up every morning, putting on a suit and tie, working for a bank, to make a company richer with no purpose, Honestly, I just couldn't do it. So I started working on, on this damn YouTube channel and I got a simple job driving a van for 20 hours a week to get some sort of income coming in while I was building up this business. And yeah, the YouTube channel started making content. Uh, first month, it did so well. It just blew everything out of the water. I, <laughs> if I'm honest, I probably got 100 views and about 10 subscribers. Um, honestly, serious, if you're looking to start a YouTube channel, the first month, it's gonna be the toughest. And personally, for me, I got next to no views. Um, but honestly, I didn't mind that too much because Ryan Scribner, he taught me the same thing. He said, the first month, the first two months, don't expect massive numbers because things grow at compounding rates. And if you just stay in the game long enough and keep delivering quali good quality videos, eventually people will stumble across your channel, enjoy it, and it's gonna grow at a compound rate, which means for the start, it goes extremely slow and it builds up like this. Uh, and you know, it took me about a year before I monetized the channel. I uh, got 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 hours watched, which is what you need to monetize the channel. And it's really been over the past six months that my channel has just been taking off. Uh, over the past four, five or six months, I've been earning around uh, 1,200 to 1,400 US dollars through ads on my YouTube channel. And yeah, 1,400 dollars, it's not really enough to be living in a country like the USA or New Zealand, uh, which brings me to why I moved to Thailand. Cheap living, uh, different culture, good experiences, uh, those were the reasons why I chose to live in Thailand. So, hmm, that brings me to where I'm currently at the moment. I'm currently living in a, in a two bedroom apartment in Bangkok um, with actually one of my best mates who, who is actually Thai himself, which is another reason why I chose Thailand because I know a couple of people here, including my brother. Uh, and I gotta be honest, uh, it kind of blew my mind when, when I stepped off that airplane into Thailand. First of all, it's freaking hot. It's been like, uh, like 36 or 38 degrees since I've stepped off that plane. And second, there's just so many people compared to what I'm used to. I mean, I don't know how many people live in Bangkok and because I don't have any internet uh, at the moment, I can't Google it, but just from looking outside, I think it's quite a lot. Um, like you go into a train and it's packed. You're like, you're like sardines in a tin trying to cram into this train. It's, com yeah, it's completely different to what I'm used to. But if I'm honest, I think this experience, it's gonna be really good for me. Uh, getting used to the whole, a whole nother culture, learning to, to say sawadee krap. That's what they do in Thailand. Uh, when you greet someone you, at the door, you go sawadee krap. <laughs> and yeah, it's a, it's a really different culture to what I'm used to. But um, I mean, obviously if you've got so many damn people crammed into one city, I mean, it's gonna be, people are gonna do things differently. So I'm, I'm, I'm slowly getting used to it. Um, but yeah, th this video is starting to get too long now. I'm gonna have to make another video about life in Thailand and my budget and expenses and my, my income. So yeah, no, I'm gonna do that in another video. And guys, I just wanted to end this video by saying to all of my viewers out there, thank you so much for all of the support that you give me, uh, all the likes that you drop on the channel, the comments, 
and I love it, man. I, I love this job and I'm, I'm gonna work damn hard to ensure that I can keep doing this a long term. I'm gonna keep focusing on good quality content and hopefully you guys will enjoy it. So as the Thai people would do, uh, thank you so much for watching. Um, I, don't, I don't know the, the words to say goodbye in Thailand, but I just got like this. And guys, thanks for your support and I'll catch you all in the next video.